So Jared, what are you doing? I'm about to hook you if you get behind me. So Jared's been using worms and catching a little little tiny perch. And then we got them on the big poles on some big hooks. So hopefully we can get a big catfish or a gar or something. Or a bass or whatever. Switch out mine. Shoot dang, that's how it's done. One eternity later. I need to catch me some people. It's been way too long. It's been like two days since I caught a fish. There's a freaking bass right here. There was a big bass right here, I could see it. There's a big bass right here in front of me. See if I can get the bass. Ah. I'm going to use a live one then. Catch me a, a bait. Are, are you small? All right, people. So Jared's catching these little perch again. So we're gonna use a live one. I'm just gonna free line him right here. Bush light. Bush light, bluegill, and bass. I should put my GoPro underwater over here. It's just the water's going to take it past your line. The current, I can't do it in the current with him.
people so jared and i went fishing earlier pretty much most of the day we've gone fishing but we had to run into town because i was craving steaks and jason did not come through with the steaks he did go by dollar general yesterday and picked us up a little bag of shrimp and some hot dogs so i got some potatoes they're pretty good sized red potatoes so i got them there getting them heated up started I'm going to grill up some New York strip steaks that I picked up when we went to Salem Springs earlier. I had to have steaks, man. I was craving it too much. Jared's over there being Mr. Cool with the sunglasses on. So we're going to try, it is 4.45 right now, so we're going to try to get all this stuff done and eat before Jared goes live at 7. Check back in in a bit. So to go along with those steaks, like I said, we got those potatoes. I found an onion too. And then we got some uh, Caesar salad as well. So can't wait for that. But after Jared's live, we're gonna go gar fishing at the cliff again, but we're gonna be way more prepared. We got some uh, glowing bobbers and we have about five or six perch to use for cut bait. So I'm going to fish on the bottom and with a uh, cork, so we're either going to hopefully get catfish or gar and have something good to eat when we get back home tomorrow. So yeah, today's our last day here. Jason's back with Danielle at her place. He decided not to come over here today. They were just going to, I think they had to go do shopping or something. I don't know. But it's just Jared and me today. Um, we'll take off early in the morning head back home which is about a five hour drive maybe a little bit over not much so it should be too many nice to get back home daisy and tucker i'm sure are missing us and wondering what's going on i'm sure little bubba and maddie and blue and callie and kaylee and all the chickens and everybody's missing us but shout out to tom and Rhonda. thanks tom you've been going over and checking on the animals for us we appreciate that so maybe uh, we can catch some gar catfish to bring home and cook you up something good to eat. So those steaks aren't going to take that long to cook. That's why I went ahead and threw on the potatoes and the onion, let those cook down. Hopefully those flames keep on going with that chunk of oak there. That way it'll be searing hot when I throw those steaks on. It's going to be too and nice. So this little vacation is almost over. It is what it is. We did some work, not as much on a tiny house as I would have hoped. It is what it is. But I've gotten a lot of fishing in, and it has been fun, I will say that. Um, as soon as we get back to Texas, I was already telling Jerry we need to bust out those kayaks and go fishing on to Wakini. Also, Lake Fork is close by too. I think it's about half an hour to 45 minutes away. And that's supposed to be some really good bass fishing. Uh, about two years ago, we were going bass fishing there at Tawakini off the shore. And I was catching some pretty good size, like minimum five pounders. You can go back and look either on my video or on Jared's. I don't remember, but we were catching some nice large mouth. So we'll see how it turns out when we get back. But man, I'm hungry. I'm just waiting for these dang taters to finish cooking. The onion's pretty much ready to go, but the taters are still just a little too tough. Then I'm going to throw on uh, those steaks. Oh man, I can already tell it's going to be good. It's going to be too, 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 too many. Nice. So here are those New York strip steaks. I seasoned them up with salt and pepper and some steak seasoning. They've been in the fridge for at least four hours now, minimum. So. I'm about to throw these on. Mm. It's gonna be many nice. Steak number one. Steak number two. I'm gonna move these over a little bit. Dang. 
right, let's flip these and see what they're looking like. So these have been going for just a few minutes. I think they're just about ready. About to put them on some foil and let them rest. I'll let them cook just a hair more. Smells so good. Oh, and I've been craving steak. It's crazy. You might think I'm pregnant or something. And who says you can't flip steak more than once? All right, people, so here's the steak. Some potato with the onions and some Caesar salad. What's it look like? Looks like a steak, onion, and a Caesar salad. <laughs> Pretty much well done, I guess. The potatoes Medium look, well. The potatoes are a little well done, but it'll do. Taste it, Bubba. Well, shoot, dang, there's not any barbecue sauce. For a steak? It tastes better than the ones last time. It tastes pretty good. We only have one knife, so I'm waiting my turn. I don't even know what happened to my fork. Here, y'all can lick the juices. That's good. We got about 30 minutes until Jared's live. So, We're gonna keep eating, then we'll meet y'all on the live. And then after the live, we'll see y'all at the cliff. Okay, so Jared and I are fishing. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but you can see his bobber over there glowing and mine's way over there glowing. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Well, we made it back. I was getting bites. Jared wasn't there for. He went to go sit in the side by side and was like, I'm ready to go. Just like Jared when we go fishing. Anyways, at least we had a good steak dinner. He's probably gonna eat the leftover steak or he's just gonna go straight to bed. I don't know. But it is 1030. We got some floats that light up at night. And within minutes, I was getting bites. And I got something on there. It was either a gar or a turtle, by the way, it was hitting it. But needless to say, I didn't get it. We ended up switching to fish on the bottom and we were using the cut bait. And we were doing pretty good. Well, I was doing pretty good. I was getting quite a few bites, but didn't land anything, so I guess it doesn't matter. But he didn't get any bites, so he was like, I'm ready to go. So, oh, well, we're back. 
but overall it was a good trip i'm glad to have been able to come out here uh, we did get some stuff done as far as building wise or clearing land but i'm ready to go home ready to get back to civilization get back to the on grid life thanks for watching guys and i'll see y'all on the next one doing it nice